Hello my friends, today we're back in Luminar Neo and we are talking about tools that will improve your golden hour photography. You know those beautiful sunsets and sunrises and just golden hour in general. I am going to show you how you can make them even better and also what um, made me do this video is because I want to show you how to fix this kind of problem. And I see this all the time, especially in new photographers, they will try to bring down the luminance into the sun and the, the sun becomes gray and we just get this like harsh line around the sun and I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. But first let's just talk in general about what kind of tools can we use to improve our sunset colors and our sunset photography. And I will start with, I will start with this image and I am going to go into edit and the first thing I want to do is just maybe raise up the shadows a little bit just to get a little bit more detail into the shadows not too much something like that now one of the first tool that we can use into our sunset photos is to use overlay and I'm just going to show you with this orange overlay it's just an orange layer no texture nothing to it just a simple orange and if we change the blending mode to soft light, now this is too much, obviously we have to bring it down, but you see those beautiful sunset colors we get in our image right now. This is the before, this is the after, before and after. And that's just by using a simple overlay. We can mess with the opacity. And when you use overlays for sunset, there's a few blending modes that will work with it. This one, it's soft light. If we go to overlay, we get a little bit more intense color, a little bit more contrast, as you can see. So let's go back. This is soft light. I'm going to increase the amount just so you can see it better. Soft light and then there's overlay. So we get a little bit more orange, more color. A few other uh, blending mode that works with this is hard light. Hard light will give you even more intense color. So you really have to dial it back. And then another one that sometimes it works is color burn. And that will give you more of these orange tones into the highlights and you can bring it down. That's just a complete different look. So this is the before and after. For this image, I think I like maybe hard light. Let's see, before and after, before and after. And that was just with a simple overlay. Let's see what other tools can we use on our golden hour photography. Let's see what other tools we can use in our golden hour photography. I'm gonna choose this example and one of the tools that really makes images stand out when you have a lot of highlights it's glow. If you move the glow to the right look at the sky it just brings like magic into it and of course if you do not want to affect your foreground you can just add a linear gradient and mask this off. I have to invert the mask and now our glow is only applied to the sky. So this is our before and after, before and after. For this image I would like to get more golden hour on, the, on these flowers and for that I like to use landscape and landscape has this beautiful tool golden hour and look at those flowers how it gets that golden tone to it. And in this case, I do not like what golden hour does to the, to the sun. You see, it just makes it very saturated and kind of sharp and not so pleasant looking. But that's okay because we use our masking again, a linear gradient, and I'm only going to apply it to the foreground this time. So let's see our image from the beginning, before and after, before and after. We can even add our orange overlay if we want and put it into soft light. And then we end up with something like this before and after, before and after. Let's see what other tools we can use. I'm going to take this example and I think this is a great image, but what I want to do, I want to add a sun flare that will come from this right side where the sun is will come across the water and just kind of, you know, make the image a little bit better. So I'm going to make my image smaller. I will go to edit. And for this one, I will use, let's see, will glow do what I wanted to do? Uh, it sure will. I will add some glow. I will mask it. And this time I will use a radial gradient. And I am going to squish this down a little bit. 
and just make sure it goes all the way across the water. I'm gonna make it a little bit taller. And now our effect is happening on the outside of our radial gradient. So I need to invert my mask by pressing this invert button. And let's see, this is our before and after, before and after. Now we added that glow, but we lost a little bit of the color. So what I would like to do is go to this mask and I want to copy the mask. So I'll click on this copy button and now I have the mask of that glow. And now I can go into my landscape. I'll go to masking and I will paste my mask. And now I can just add some of that golden hour just to the portions of the glow, something like that. And let's see our image. This is the before, this is the after, before and after. What other tools can we use to improve our golden hour photography? I am going to use this image. This image, we want to make it a little bit more sensitive. I want to give it some nice warm tones. And how can I do that? We have the sky seems to be blown out. There's not much information there and we cannot bring back information. I could do a sky replacement and put a sunset over there, but I'm not going to do that this time. What I will do, I want to add some fog in there. And I'm going to do the amount of the fog at 100% so I can see it. And then I'm going to increase the depth because I do want that fog to come here on the in, inside of this street. So let's see, this is the before, this is the after, before and after. And I think that looks better so far. But wait a minute, we do not have any golden hour colors. Well, that's okay because we will work on that next. So we have the fog, which looks good. Maybe we want to add a little bit of the glow because we have so much highlights there. That's just going to bloom those highlights a little bit. So I'm going to add just a little bit of glow, not too much. Just like that. A little bit is good. Then let's see our image so far. This is the before. This is the after. Before and after. Maybe we went a little bit too far, but that's okay. Then we want to go maybe into our landscape. Let's see if golden hour helps a little bit and it helps some. We'll add just a little bit of that. Then maybe we'll even add our orange overlay and we'll put it on soft light. And let's see, this is our before and after, before and after. This is looking better. The soft light is too much. I'm gonna take it down a little bit. So let's see now our image before and after, before and after. I really like how we have this magical glow coming from the inside. What else can we do? Maybe we can add some sun rays over here so we can print then the sun is really coming from over there. So I have to go back to my background and then I'll go to sun rays, place sun in the center and I will place it right over here. And then I'll just increase the amount just a little bit, just like that. I don't want too much. I don't want it to be too weird and obvious, just something small. And let's see, this is our image. Let's see that. This is our before and after, before and after. And that just gives it a little bit something special. What other tools can we use? Let's see. I'm going to work on this image. So when I look at this image, I can see we have some beautiful glow around the sun, but the foreground is kind of boring and I just want to bring some of that, you know, golden hour to it. So for that, I will use glow. So I will go to my mask and go to mask action and I will fill my whole image with my mask. Oh, I have to go and show so I can see my mask. And now I want to apply this glow, but I do not want to affect my human. So what I will do is go to mask AI and click on human and nothing happens because the human was already selected. But if I click it again, it will deselect it from my mask. And that is exactly what I want. Now I can go to adjustments and I can add a little bit of glow, not too much, just a little bit. Maybe I'll just go to one. And this is the before and after the glow, before and after. I will go to my mask and I also want to remove that glow from the foreground over here. So I will go to my brush and I will erase 
let's see I will erase I'll take my brush pretty big and I'll just erase from the foreground something like that and now onto my mask I also want to go to mask action and copy this mask that I created so so far our image this is the before and after and now with my mask selected I can go into landscapes good and now with our mask selected we are going to mask actions and we paste and then we go to adjustments and add some golden hour now when I add this golden hour notice it does a good job on the foreground over here but the sun is just too saturated this is the before and this is the after before and after but I can go into masking and I can take a brush and just erase it from the sun with a nice soft brush that way we are not over saturating the sun there you go and now let's see our image this is the before and this is the after before and after and if we want that extra um, sunset colors we can of course add our orange overlay and we will just put it on soft light and there you go that's too much of course bring it down around 20 percent seems to work the best and this is the before and after before and after maybe i want to darken a little bit of this uh, foreground so i will just go to develop i'll take down the exposure just a little bit Oh, you know what I am onto my overlay I have to go to my background then go to develop and take down the exposure just a little bit and then I will mask it with a linear gradient or just mask the lower part so we're just darkening the lower so there you go and now this is our image before and after before and after of course it's too saturated we went a little bit too far but I try to do that when I make tutorials so you guys have a better idea of what's happening before and after you will have to dial everything down a little bit and now let's see I will just do two more images and then we'll go to our problem image see how we fix it for this image all I would do is just go and add our overlay it is so versatile and I am going to show you something here this is just on overlay maybe it's a little bit too much maybe not let's see this is our before and after before and after when you work with overlay it's important to know that you can always change the color of your overlay if you go to color and you have your overlay selected you can use the hue shift to shift your hue over overlay so you can go through every you know color on the rainbow if you will and choose the one that works for you I will stay with this orange tone something like that and then of course you can adjust the you know brightness the darkness you can add blacks you can you know you can go into develop and let's say we want to make more contrast we can add some black we can do all kinds of things to our adjustment layer I am going to maybe do this uh, overlay again on this image just because it is my favorite way of editing sunset so I will just go to soft light for this image and this is the before and after before and after and that just makes such a big difference we can use color burn let's see that is too not so right maybe if you use it very very small amount something like that that will work so this is our before and after we can use overlay we can use hard light that's another good one and I can even increase the effect we don't want to go too orange but something like that and this is our before and after before and after very sudden now let's go to our problem image and I see this a lot and we need to fix this how do we fix it well we'll go to edit and one thing we can do we can try our glow so that will soften things a little bit you see that that already is looking better and I will mask it with the radial gradient I'll put my radial right here something like that 
and I make sure I invert it. And now let's see, this is without the glow, with the glow, without the glow, with the glow. That looks better. We still have some hard line over there. So what I can do, I can go to structure and I can take the amount down to blur things and then I can mask it and use another radial gradient. This time I'll place it somewhere in here and I will invert it. So let's see, this is our before and after, before and after. Things are looking better. Maybe another thing we can do is maybe to actually add the sun rays over there because the sun is there. So I will go to sun rays and place sun and center. I'll do it right over here. Maybe I'll put it off the frame over here. And then I'll just increase the amount and I'll just give us a little bit of glow and rays. And that just looks natural. So this is the before and after, before and after. That is looking good. Let's see our image. This is the before, this is the after, before and after. What happens if we add a little bit of landscape? Well, that makes it a little bit too saturated. Maybe we don't want to add landscape. Maybe we just want to add our orange overlay. And I'll just put this into overlay and reduce the opacity. Maybe just 12. And this is the our before and after. Before and after. We can add even more. Let's go to 20 just so you can see it better. So this is our before and after, before and after. And that is a more natural looking image. As a recap, when you want to edit your photos, there are a few tools that will help you with your golden hours. One is the glow. You see how that just produces that nice glow and you can mask it and put it wherever you want. I'm going to take that down. Then my, uh, you have your overlay that we did in pretty much every image. So you saw that I will add it to this one just to see it again. Let's see overlay. And that is too much. So there you go. And then also you have a few more tools. I'm going to delete this overlay. You also have landscape. You can add golden hour. Let's just saturate it a little bit too much. Just a little bit goes a long way. And then you can add atmosphere. I really like adding fog. Just softens a little bit of the background and just makes it a little bit more natural looking when you have the sun and the image. And let's see what else can you use. You can use the sun ray. We did that. I'm just going to add it right over here and the brightest spot. So that can enhance your photo. Just a little bit. And then I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. I hope this was useful and you learn a few things. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I will see you in my next video.